Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be taking a little bit of a step away from my typical Adobe tutorials and show you all how to get Android development up and running on your Macintosh. So, we're going to need two items to make this work. Well, three items really. The first of which is the Android SDK, which can be obtained from developer.android.com. The second which is Eclipse, which can be attained from eclipse.org. The third thing that you really need is an Android device. Although you can use the emulator, it's best to have a device because nothing can reproduce a device without an actual device. So, first thing we're going to need to do is download the Android SDK. So you see on this page it has download, we'll learn more. And we'll download this file. As you can see on my desktop, I have already downloaded this file right there. This will also provide us with our instructions later. We'll go over here and we'll need to download Eclipse. But you'll see it's Eclipse 3.6, which isn't actually fully compatible with the Android SDK. So we're going to need to go to older versions and find Eclipse 3.5 and download the Eclipse Classic of that. So let's go back over here and we'll open up Eclipse. I've already defined a workspace on my desktop right there. And you can see that we have just a basic Eclipse. I've never used this install before. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to our workbench. Now you can see that our workbench is kind of small, so I'm going to maximize it so we can see everything. And now we will go back to our page on Android development. First thing we're going to need to do is download the SDK starter package, which we've already done. The second thing you can see it says to do is to install the ADT plugin for Eclipse. So let's go and do that. We need to copy this link right here. Hit Command C to copy. And we need to go back over to Eclipse. We need to go under Help. We need to go under Install New Software. We're going to type, paste in our site. Click Add. We'll call it Android. Okay. And now it's going to go ahead and load everything available at the Android site for Eclipse. You can see that it has our developer tools. We're going to want to install all of our developer tools. And we'll hit next. Next. We want to accept our license agreements and click finish. It will ask you that you, because you're installing software that contains unsigned content, you want to say yes. You do want to install the unsigned content because it is from Google and it is required in order to make this work. Now we're also going to want to restart Eclipse. Eclipse will restart itself. Now you can see that Eclipse has opened again. And you can see that I have a project because I have in fact moved to my existing Eclipse install because it seems to work much better. Now what we need to do is since we have our plugins installed and everything, we can just go over here and click this button and find the Eclipse AVD and SDK Manager. And you can see we have no virtual devices. We have some installed packages, but I'm going to show you how to install more. So we go over here to Available Packages. We drill down. And you can see that it has found a couple of packages. You can see that it's found Android 2.2, which is Froyo. It's found the Google APIs for that. And it's found a market licensing package 
All I want is Froyo, so we'll pick both of those and we'll say install selected. So we accept all of our license agreements and install. Okay, now I have, in the interest of time, cut out the space in between that the install requires. It does take a few minutes. Um, now it's going to ask me if I need to restart ADB, which I need to do. So I will say yes. You would love to restart ADB. However, now you can see that we do have our packages installed and everything seems to be in order. So now my Sudoku project isn't complaining because it has found its Froyo that it needs to run. And now we can start up our device manager again. And I'm going to show you how to make a virtual device. So we'll say new virtual device. We'll call it Froyo. And we're going to target Froyo. We're going to give it a 20 megabyte SD card. It's going to be HVGA. And we'll say create. So now we have this virtual device. And we're going to tell it to start our virtual device. And we'll see what that does. Launch. So you can watch down here. Emulator will start up. There's a virtual device. Here's our start screen. This takes a little bit to boot up, so I'm going to skip the boot up and just show you that we do have, in fact, our virtual device right here. So now you should be all set up to go and develop some applications for your uh, Android device. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you can email me at arthurlockman at ajobi, A-J-O-B-I dot net. Send me a link on Twitter, Facebook, not Facebook, I don't have Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Forest, anything, I'll get back to you and help you answer your questions. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.